Okay, so this is my third time uh, trying to film because I'm quarantined with my husband and bless his heart, he is noisy. <laughs> and he's not normally home when I'm trying to film. So there's that and there will be commotion in the background and that's actually him trying to be quiet. So, you know, I know a lot of you out there are in the same boat, right? <clears throat> okay, so anyway. I'm here to share with you some uh, embellishment gift boxes that I created. I've been making a lot of little gift sets and, and uh, racking them out because it just seems like the right time, right? Who doesn't want to get happy, crafty bits to play with, especially when they're stuck at home? So I've decided that I'm not going to be participating in any swaps for the next few months, but I'm just going to be sending out happy mails as I can afford the shipping. You know, it's just, it seems right. But anyway, I made these two gift sets that will be available in my Etsy, or you can message me. My email's below if you're interested. And I made a blue one and a pink one, and they are um, Tilda inspired. So I will show you the, the front, the tops of each one, and then I'll go through the pink one piece by piece because they're almost identical inside with a little variations on the colors, of course. So this is actually a berry container, either a blackberry or blueberry. Um, I love to recycle things, so that's what I've done. And I just spray painted the um, outside of it white. And then I added some beautiful Tilda paper because I am going through my Tilda hoard and enjoying every minute of it. So um, I put this fabric image on the front of this little angel that I thought was so cute and then surrounded it by this um, scalloped eyelet trim and then cut up this beautiful little doily to hang off and then I used some of this beautiful flower uh, trim and then this scallop trim right here came from um, Angel Dream Crafts and there is a link to her Etsy store below. She has the cutest things. Then I um, die cut some tags out of the Tilda paper pad and added a, a pink fiber bow and then these are some of my handmade rolled roses that I have been just enjoying making like crazy. So here is the top of the blue one. And I used uh, this blue applique that was gifted to me a long, long time ago. And I've just been treasuring it. And then I die cut some more uh, tags out of the paper pad, added a white bow. This is a beautiful um, fabric image of two Tilda friends. More of the doily. Um, and my rolled roses, some of my favorite trim from Hobby Lobby. This beautiful blue tool trim is available at Angel Dream Crafts. And then here is the paper on the bottom. So let me show you what's inside. These are so fun. I absolutely love these. And now here comes my noisy dog. I'm telling you, I can't make a video right now to save my life. All right, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, here's how I decorated the inside using some of the beautiful cutouts from the Tilda paper pads and another um, pink fiber bow and some snippets of appliques and then more beautiful cutouts. And I stickled them because, of course, I did. And it says an offering of friendship. And so each gift set has a handmade card that I will leave blank unless you're sending it to, unless you want me to ship it directly to someone for you. And then I'll gladly fill out the card for you if you'd like. So they both have a card that kind of matches the um, inside decoration. So let me set this to the side so we can take everything out and look at it. So you get a handmade card. You get three of my um, handmade bows that all have a pearl dangle, which, okay, let me see. My camera's that way, let's try that. So they, they each have three, and I think in this one you get uh, two of this and one of this. So just you know, little differences. So you get three pearl dangle bows. Then you're gonna get a bag of uh, satin ribbon bows, I think. Um, I don't remember. I think there's four pink and four white in there. Super cute. Um, each gift set has a cork to alter that is wrapped with a strip of fabric ribbon that I uh, tore, hand tore myself. Uh, this one, of course, has little pink roses. This one has more of a blue color, and I'll open it up and show you 
and then it has a gold bulb pin with a little bell. Too cute. All right, so in this, they both have these. These are some butterflies that I die cut out of the paper pad, and then I glued together and put these beautiful crystals inside. So in each one, you're gonna get four of the double butterfly and then two of the mini. I just had fun making these one day, right? They're just cute as they can be. So you're gonna get six total. Two small ones and then four layered. Completely cute. Okay, then you're gonna get a set of uh, tags out of the paper pad and I believe, darn it, I don't remember. I should have wrote it down. That's so obvious. They're the same in both. I mean, the colors vary because I think I've got more of the blue paper tags in the other one, but the amount is the exact same. So you get one, two, three, four of the little tags, and then two of the medium tags and one of the bigger tags. These are adorbs. Adorbs. Okay, so you're going to get the tags. Then you're getting a little bag of six of my little heart beads. I love these so much. I've been putting these on everything and in everything that I send out. Um, each one has four of the uh, hand-dyed fabric pleats, if you will, the little shabby fabric pleats. So each um, gift set has four of those. Each gift set has um, seven of my um, hand-rolled fabric roses. Then you're going to get um, two altered hearts in, in Tilda that kind of match your set. So in the pink set, there's more pink on them, but they're super cute. I do have a video on how I created these. And then you're going to get two of these to alter yourself. So there's that. So you get two that are altered and then two that you can alter or whoever you're gifting it to can alter. Then um, each one has a hand decorated uh, paper clip. Nope, clothes pin. I do that every time. So cute. And then uh, there is these beautiful rose gold kilt pins. I love these. I think I bought them at Hobby Lobby. And so I just filled this with goodies. So each one has one of my handmade um, Tilda embellishments love love then you're going to get a uh, bulb pin that has three charms there's a cup pig a tea pot and a tea cup there's uh, three rhinestone rondelles on there then there's a beautiful bead at the on the front i don't know if it's going to focus right there on the front a beautiful bead and then they each have a safety pin oh the blue one got into the pink box let me switch that around. So this is the one that will be in the blue box, but the pink one will have one just like it, but with pink beads. And then I put a doily in each one, and then you have this beautiful box. So I enjoyed so much making um, these little gift sets. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing one, they are $25 uh, plus shipping. Let's see, where did I put the little... There it is. Here's the pink one. <laughs> there's the pink one so make sure that gets in there and you can just simply email me at my email below and let me know which one you're interested in and let me know if you want me to send it if you're gifting it to someone or if you want me to send it to you and I hope you enjoyed them I hope that you are all um, keeping busy and keeping creative and I will see you all soon